From January 1974 through September of 1975, the serial killer known as The Doodler wreaked havoc on gay nightclubs, bars, and restaurants of San Francisco, California. The Doodler got his name by drawing his victims before sexual encounters prior to killing them. It is believed that he's responsible for up to 16 murders and three assaults. Of all of his victims, only three were able to survive. All of his victims were stabbed in the front and back of their bodies in similar locations. The person suspected of the killings was described as a man being between the ages of 19 and 25, of African descent, and was about six feet tall with a slender build. The Doodler's first victim is believed to be a man by the name of Gerald Earl Kavanaugh. He was found on January 24, 1974, fully clothed lying face up on Ocean Beach in San Francisco. It was determined that he was conscious at the time he was killed and attempted to resist due to his self-defensive wounds. He was originally known as a John Doe because of very few details being available about his personal life. The police suspected a young man as a murder suspect, but could not proceed with charges due to the surviving victims not wanting to out themselves by testifying against him in court. Among those stabbing victims were a well-known entertainer and a diplomat. The suspect cooperated with the police during their questioning, but never admitted to any guilt for the murders or attacks. It is strongly believed by police that they had their man, if not for the survival's refusal to appear in court. To this date, he's never been named publicly or been apprehended. In fact, very little is available to the public about what he did. As of May 2018, the case is still open and ongoing in the San Francisco Police Department. In February 2019, they offered a $100,000 reward for any information leading to the arrest of the killer. The Long Island Serial Killer, also known as Lisk, the Gilgo Beach Killer, and the Craigslist Ripper, terrorizes victims from 1996 to 2010. The police suspect that the killer has murdered around 10 to 16 people. The victims were mostly sex workers and were left in the areas of the South Shore of Long Island, New York. The remains of four victims were found in December 2010, while six other sets were found in March and April of 2011. The first body was found by an officer and his dog on a routine training exercise in a burlap sack. Discovery led to a search where three more bodies were found two days later in the same area on the north side of the Ocean Parkway. It was theorized on November 29, 2011, that one person was responsible for the murders of all the remains that were found due to common characteristics among the condition and forensic evidence related to the bodies. John Bitroff, who was already convicted in May 2017 and sentenced later that year for homicides of two other sex workers in 1993-1994, was a suspect in at least one of the murders. Other suspects have been former Suffolk County Police Chief James Burke, Joseph Brewer, Dr. Peter Hatchett, and James Bissett. The media has speculated that it's most likely a white male in his mid-20s to mid-40s who was familiar with the South Shore of Long Island and has access to burlap sacks that he used for disposal of all of his bodies. He may also have detailed knowledge of law enforcement techniques and perhaps ties to law enforcement itself, which would have helped him avoid detection so far. Numerous films and TV shows have covered the case, from 48 Hours, Long Island Serial Killer, to a Netflix movie called Lost Girls. The case still remains unsolved. The Zodiac Killer is one of the most famous serial killers never to be caught. He went after his victims in Northern California from at least the late 1960s to the early 1970s. The killer originally got his name in a series of taunting letters and cars he sent to the San Francisco Bay Area Press. They included four cryptograms that are also known as ciphers. He was known to go after young couples, with two of the men surviving the murder attempts. He also murdered a male cab driver. The killer himself has claimed to have murdered 37 people and has been linked to several other cold cases. Investigators agree on only seven confirmed victims, two of those survived. The first murder linked to the Zodiac Killer were shootings of high school students Betty Lou Jensen and David Arthur Faraday on December 20th, 1968 on Lake Herman Road. Along with the letters, he would send mementos proving his claims to the killings, specifically of the victim Paul Stein, who was a male cab driver. The killer tore and sent in a section of his bloody t-shirt. He also has claimed to have spoken with two police officers three minutes after he shot him on October 11, 1969. 
Up until 1974, he would continue to communicate with the authorities via letters and greeting cards to the press. An estimated amount of 2,500 people have been suspected of being the killer over the years, such as Ross Sullivan, Lawrence Kane, and Richard Kokowski. The Zodiac Killer case was marked as inactive in April 2004, but was reopened some point prior to March of 2007. In May 2018, the police announced that they would attempt to collect the killer's DNA from the back of the stamps he used on those letters. It was hoped that he would be caught in a similar way to that of the Golden State Killer, Joseph James D'Angelo. However, as of May 2021, no results have been found. Thanks for checking out this video. Please subscribe as I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at DanScares and Instagram at DanSMachinaYT. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.